Chapter 33 Uphold the Medical Work Written at Kurenbong, New South Wales, February 1, 1899 I address those in responsible positions in the General Conference and those who are working in medical missionary lines. I am commissioned to speak also to the church in Battle Creek and to all our other churches. I have been instructed to say, in reference to the medical missionary work, that there is danger of swaying things too heavily in one line. But what I say on this point must not be understood as in any sense justifying those who have held themselves aloof from medical missionary work. There are many who have not been in sympathy with this work. They should now be very careful how they speak in regard to it, for they are not intelligent on the subject because they have not walked in the light. Whatever their position in the work of God, they should be very careful not to give utterance to sentiments that will discourage and hinder our conferences from taking hold of this work. The position that some have occupied in reference to medical missionary work makes it impossible for their words on this subject to have any weight. They are not clear-sighted. Their judgment is warped. Every branch of the work is needed, but every branch of the work is to be under the supervision of God. The medical missionary work is to be to the cause of God as the right hand to the body. It would not be right for all the strength of the body to go into the right hand, and neither would it be right for all the strength of the cause of God to be used in medical missionary work. The ministry of the Word must be sustained, and there must be unity, perfect oneness in God's work. Those who have felt no interest in medical missionary work are treating the right hand of God's cause disrespectfully. Let all change their attitude towards this work. Let them speak as few words as possible until they stand in a right position. Silence is eloquence when the mind is not sanctified and therefore cannot discern spiritual things.